Welcome to Physical Science in the AM. We are starting our chemistry unit with a compound review. Um, the first thing, binary. Bi means two. And their molecules we name, uh, and the molecules we name will be made of two non-metals. No ions are involved. So you don't use that ionic sheet. You use only the periodic table to come up with things, as well as these prefixes. So this is important. Now the prefixes, I would suggest that you don't have a lot to memorize because you've seen them before. A, B, you're familiar with probably all except maybe one, and that's tetra, in common language, like if you're talking about octagons and stuff, or, you know, you know that's an eight-sided figure and stuff. So just going through these, I'm going to come up with you some memory if you haven't already. One, mono, that's a common word for one. You know, sometimes unibrow, like you're telling, I, I should say call it a monobrow, right? It makes more sense if you ask me. Monobrow, you know anyone who says monobrow? Yeah, people have started that talking about it. John, you heard that? Yeah, I know, but what is uni, you know, unibrow, monobrow? I think bam, right? Like, I call it a monocycle, not a unicycle. But I can't write it. Anyway. Die. Now that's not unheard of. Three, try, just like a try to. Four is really the only one you have to commit to memory, but it's just one. Because I don't use the word tetra. I can't think of anywhere else. Tetra path. I can have to do with four as far as I'm I don't know. So tetra is something. Pentagon, stuff like that, right? Tetra. That makes sense. Hexa, this, hexagon. Not that you have many heptagons or sometimes septagons, but we've used it before um, with, uh, with geometry. And you've used it before probably in grade 10. But octagons, nonagons, you don't come across it a lot, but non. And I'm talking about geometry because I know that's where most people come from. Now, deca, you know, from decades, 10 years, etc. And as far as the rule, a molecule will never start its name with mono. That's where you hear carbon dioxide. It's just assumed that there's no prefix on it that's one carbon. If there were two carbons, dicarbon, blah, 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 then there would be, you have to, but a name never starts with mono. I don't know what it does. The second element has an IDE ending. So I'm saying carbon dioxide because I know you're aware of CO2. But you don't say carbon dioxygen, you always end with ID oxide. It's kind of a short name. The two exceptions, they don't use the name system, and this is the proper name. Why? And that one I think you know. You probably have heard of ammonia. It's quite good to remember if you've seen it before. That's NH2. Do not call it nitrogen trihydride. That is a mistake. It's ammonia. Okay, I'm going to just pause and just update the sentence. Oh, yeah. I'm double fixing it. So, anyway, elements. There's seven elements that are diatomic, they come in groups of two. They found in nature as groups of two. And I'm going to just show you something on the periodic table. I will ask you. I'm kind of aware of these things. If I say oxygen, biology in grade seven or eight, going through science, you probably know it's O2, right? You breathe O2, you've heard. Is that the one you're aware of? Well, we're going to commit these to memory. If I say in a word equation that you're adding hydrogen plus oxygen to make water, you can come up with that. You can say H2 plus O2, they're all H2O when you just count. How, what's one method to memorize these examples? Well, if you look at a periodic table, go to the number seven, that's nitrogen. There's seven of these, the start is nine. Make a seven, you see how this kind of makes a seven? It's going cyclic, so down to five now. The seventh one is hydrogen. Seven, right? So it's nine, seven. 
seven dwellers. So it's like that children's nursery rhyme, right? Seven little chip pumps falling on the bank. Seven little chip pumps. Is that out of the bank? Oh, gosh, you have now. Seven. Or seven minute out. Okay. So you don't need to write these down, but I'm putting that on the video. So if you're trying to remember these, Go to the seventh element, nitrogen. Make it seven to find the other one. I'm just drawing a little. Running out of space. So. And the seventh one. I know most of the words. The only reason why I know that is there's a movie called Something About Mary. And he goes off. Seventh one is nitrogen. Now, you have a table and you know what the number seven is. Nitrogen is the seven. And, and anything there, if I say it in a word of prison, nitrogen plus hydrogen or ammonia, you know you're going to need N. Study the nitrogen cycle, actually. You know, nitrogen is about 80% of our air that is in the atmosphere. The other one that comes as a group. Phosphorus, and I, I'll remind you of that. And sulfur comes in groups of six. The molecules. These are all non-metals. When I say non-metals, I'm going to give us a reminder. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say metals and non-metals? The clear case, steps or whatever on the periodic table starting around boron. And you see this one is reddish, right? Okay. On your periodic table handout, it's bold, right? Like there's a line. And that divides the metals from the non-metals. The ones sitting on the steps, with the exception of aluminum, are called semi-metals, right? They're kind of in between. They have characteristics of both metals and non-metals. But anything above the step, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, helium, etc., is considered a non-metal. Anything to the left of the steps, so zinc, gallium, and all these kinds of things, are metals with the exception of hydrogen. Okay. Hydrogen is not a metal. Okay. Now, the other thing I mentioned here is that every other metal is a single atom. So, if I tell you to write this word equation in the reaction, I say iron plus oxygen comes up with the 2O3 or something. Um, iron C oxygen. You put Fe. Anything else is single. Helium. It's a molecule, it's a non metal, and it's HP, which means it's single. Okay? So, all the metals come in single, as far as we're concerned. So, I gave those examples. Okay. Any questions at this moment? Because that's all we're reading. Examples of molecules. Hmm. I have a little mini chart here, just to see. So, let's take a look at that. And I never start with mon, so I'm not going to say monopolar. I'm just going to say two of them. And then try to squeeze. Try, and that letter F stands, and maybe you forgot. It stands for flirting, so I looked that up on my periodic table. Flirting. Okay, but I have to end with I E E, so instead of E, I'm going to I. Okay. So that should be a, a reminder. It's not to me. It's been a year or so. Okay. By the way, fluorine and fluoride is commonly misspelled. Notice that it's F L U, like the flu. Flora, not flower. I'm not going to ding you, but I mean, it's just yeah, get smart. Those directions. Okay. The next one has chlorine at the start, but it's two, so I do have to start with C. Stop. Why chlorine? That's the best word for seven, I guess. Seven. So we're going to use pep. I'm just trying to get you the connection. Pepsin. 
Now, I could say heptaoxone, but we generally, if we have two vowels in a row, this is why I'm showing this one, we don't use the A. Heptaoxide, then we'll say heptoxone. If you put heptoxide and stuff, I might be a little bit more circular. Yeah, I'm on the next row. Together the okay? Now, the other way around, people generally find to use iodine. I just have to look at what iodine is. It happens to be the letter R. Oh. And there's one because there's no di or tri in front of it. Then I put I. And then hepto. Okay. I don't know why I put two of them. I guess. So, fluorine, so fluoride. I F. Not done. So when I go through this, I'll quickly name some of these things. One carbon, so I start with not mono, I just write down carbon. And then four, so tetra. Not chlorine, but chloride. Argon is A R. Carbon and dioxide. Carbon and dioxide. Number nine, nitrogen monoxide. Okay, now I'll mention something. Okay, yeah, and it's kind of a rule that doesn't sound like it. Um, so dioxide is, whereas monoxide is one O only. So you kind of get a feel for it. The tries and the dies with oxygen don't. Uh, there's no hard rule, but does it sound right to you? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know. And I'm not, I told you, I'm not marking it off. But did you put dioxide or something like that? Or? No, I'm going down. Okay. You knew. Okay. It just doesn't sound right. I know. Yeah. So, mono, then you kind of, like, there's no. There is a 
is a really good rule to, yeah, that, but generally think about two values. Hey, Thomas. Nitrogen dioxide, there's a two vowel in your right. Sulfur dioxide, so S, and then O2. A lot of molecules start with just one, like one color. So, carbon, nitrogen. Anything more than one, you do have to start with. So this is sulfur to start with a dye or a color. Sulfur, dry, carbon monoxide, that stuff kills you, right? In cars and stuff, that's why you can't idle your car with the garage door. Okay. One of the ones that comes into groups. Chlorine dioxide, CLO2. Phosphorus is another that comes as a group, or in this case. Ammonia is the one that is just like water, it just has a common name, it has its properties. NH3, ammonia. That's what Windex smells like. It is ammonia with color on it. Okay. Yeah, you know the smell of Windex, kind of. There's many of you do. Okay. HCl. Gas, but when it's bubbled into water, it's hydrochloric acid. But just as a loner, hydrogen, mono. Why nitrogen, monoxide, N2? So this one that starts with something that is single. Well, H2O, water, I hope you know. Then, other one. Well, since I'm going to add any more space, take a snapshot. Uh, Okay. So oxygen difluoride. O F two. Phosphorus tribromide C D R three. Twenty. A S four so tetra arsenic. But we are gonna oh spelling it wrong. Tetra is four, and then arsenic. I have two A's in all. Now that sounds stupid anyway, so we're going to tetra arsenic. It still sounds stupid. And then delta oxide and decoxide. Now this one sounds stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the word gotcha you just. Uh, hexa. I spelled xenon wrong. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, xenon. I don't know why I would. I really all make mistakes. I make a lot. Phosphorus.
And last, the last thing I asked you guys to just list was, I think I might run out of time to develop it. Nitrogen, just to get used to this. If I say nitrogen, I mean N2. If I say oxygen, I mean O2. Chlorine, that is not in a compound. F2, uh, chlorine, Cl2, uh, bromine, uh, iodine. And lastly, hydrogen. Those are the seven. I'm going to group the two with their elements alone. Thank 